What's up guys, what's going on? Camp out coming at you with a review. As you can see, uh, Adidas uh, Sneaker Exchange Consortium. So this is a like a three-parter kind of deal. So you got Adidas and you got two other stores. Like you got the Starboy, Sneaker Boy, whatever it was in the last one with the glow in the dark stuff, which I didn't like at all. Uh, this one, they come at you with Bodega out in Boston and end out in, where the hell is end? End is in wherever end is in the UK. <laughs> I can't think of the name right now, but it'll come to me during the review. As you can see, Haven SE, size 10.5. This is not the Aniki runner. This is the Haven. Uh, this is an older style from Adidas uh, from the 70s. Uh, super basic nothing crazy about it but i will get into it when we get to the materials on the shoe uh i don't know if there's any colors on here what do we got sup sup whatever Piece of shit. Uh, i'm gonna open it up there's just black paper uh cut scene real quick and we'll get into the shoes bing bang boom you guys probably caught the breakdown i think it was two weeks ago when these first popped up on the radar and i said i liked them just because of the the neutral colorway it, it's very simple they really killed it with the material i think that's the most important part here is that they they gave you a basic shoe but they did what they were supposed to and that's give you a ballpark home run with materials so the denim isn't like the best material Material denim, but it does give you that patchwork effect, which is what the shoe is uh, described as patchwork, but it also has a different name, which is Burrow Denim Pack. Uh, the Aniki is all denim like this throughout the entire thing with the boost midsole. This is real simplistic. It has a gum translucent outsole, very fire for those gum bottom fans, if you're aware. And the upper is really what caught my attention. I wasn't sure if it was canvas when I saw it in the pictures or what it was, but when I got it uh, in hand, very, very soft, low cut, well shaved, well-groomed suede very very nice has a great feel to it has good pliability when you walk because I thought it was gonna be a little bit stiff which it's not uh, the three stripes like I said the denim isn't the best but the patchwork idea comes straight across which is cool uh, one set of laces which is this cream flat lace that's in there a little bit of branding and I'll go over the rest of the detailing which is pretty simple so you got your suede across the entire shoe your tongue um, your pull tab on the tongue you got a what is that a copper grommet towards the center portion here and i'm pretty sure you have a handshake in the back as always i don't know if you guys can see it bring a little closer a little dark sorry about that uh handshake on the back for the consortium series and then you got that beige suede across the rest of the toe cap the underlays of the three stripe um the, the toe box i'm sorry and then the toe cap has got the suede again wrapped all the way around you have this nice i don't know what they would call this but they pulled it and then stitched it so it gives you like a weird little effect across the back here i like it a lot it's clean just adds a little extra flair to it uh, also in that beige suede you got adidas branded or stitched into the upper portion of the achilles area with a really soft leather uh, that, like I said, the material is very nice in this shoe. The inside, again, with that brown soft or light brown soft leather, uh, a leather footbed or a laminate. No, it's a leather footbed, not laminated. Leather footbed with end stamped on the bottom there. And then a very soft leather tongue or the back portion of the suede would be the leather. So they invert it. So you can feel suede on both. You probably shouldn't pull this apart but you guys if you guys are unaware like the back portion of leather is suede uh maybe one day i'll do an episode with like different types of material and the variation so you guys can tell the differences but for now we'll just stick with that but like leather and suede are basically the same thing there's just the inverse side so just a heads up on that so you can see it's double uh you probably can't see it there you see like the, the suede here that portion and then this is leather and it's capped to that and stitched in so it gives you a different effect but either way definitely dope uh, let me see if there's any differences on the other shoe like this oh yeah this one says end on the pull tab on the tongue with the copper grommet let me pull this out of here all this extra shit and then the footbed probably says bodega yeah the footbed says if i can get some light in there the footbed says bodega down there so definitely dope definitely clean i'll do an on foot for you guys um yeah hope you liked the review if you have any questions or comments hit me in the comment section if you're not subscribed yet hit that subscribe button and i am out of here peace hey, hey.